Hello and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to find the total surface area of a cylinder. Okay, so we have a question here. It says, find the surface area of a cylinder with a height of 12 centimeter. So our cylinder has a height from here to here, 12 centimeter. Okay, that's from here to here. And a base with a radius of uh, 4 centimeter. A base with a four centimeter radius. So let's say this is the center of this uh, base here. The bases of, uh, of a cylinder are two circles, okay? So here we have the radius, it will be from here to here, which is what, four centimeter, okay? It says round to the nearest, what, tenth. So after we find the value, we have to round to the nearest tenth. Okay, remember, a cylinder has two bases, okay? So this is another like another, you know, a cylinder is like a tin tomato or, you know, a tin, tin of baked beans and all that. That's a cylinder shape, a three-dimensional figure. Okay. So we have two bases. All right. So the total surface area, the formula for the total surface area of a cylinder from our GED formula sheet, which I'm going to leave the link in the video description box of this video. Okay. I'll just say TSA, total surface area, just a shortened form, is what 2 pi RH plus 2 pi R square. So we have our R as 4 and our H as what 12 centimeters. So we just plug in the values. And most times um, the question will give us a value of pi as what 3.14. But if you're not given the value of pi, just leave pi like that in the formula. Okay? So we have here 2 times 3.14 times our R is 4. Our height is what 12 plus 2 times 3.14 times our R is what 4. So that's 4 square. When we punch in our calculator, you know, these questions are always in the calculator section. So you can always bring up your calculator and quickly do this. Okay. Multiply all this. We're going to get the 301.44. Plus, multiply all this, we're going to get a 100.48. When we add these two together, we're going to get 401.92. You know, this is area, so it will be centimeter square. All right, but it doesn't stop there. Our answer says, uh, question says, round to the nearest tenth. Now, to the nearest tenth, immediately after the decimal point, um, this value is the tenth value. Okay? All right? So if this is a 10th value, immediately after the 10th value, the, the number immediately after, is it up to 5 or greater than 5? It's not up to 5. So it means that we cannot approximate any number to this 9 here. So our answer will finally leave as we we'll leave as 401.9 centimeters square. So this would be our answer. Okay, most times uh some of these questions on geometry they would it's like a box filling in the box and they would always say approximate so <laughs> you should be able to do it please oh, learn approximation okay because most questions don't just end at find this they say round to the nearest dollar to the nearest cent to the nearest tenth to the nearest hundred to the nearest uh, thousand okay and if you see if you've been watching most of my videos i also do that so you know, you get conversant with it, okay, because it comes out. All right, so this is our answer for this. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can check our website, okay, for summary notes, study guides, dtwgedprep.com. You can also join our Facebook group, over 11,000 members now, you know, to receive encouragement, resources, you know, um, know people in your area doing the GED, ask questions about the GED in your state and so forth and so on. You can get a lot from the group. And also, if you require one-on-one -on -one math tutoring, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. All important links, I'm going to leave them there. All right? So, and um, finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. He's the one who's going to give us peace. Who's going to give us, you know, protect us, provide for us, give us help. 
okay? He's the one who keeps the bones of the righteous. You know, he keeps us safe. He's the one who blesses us with sweet sleep. Suffering from sleeplessness, he blesses us with sweet sleep. So all you need to do is just make him your Lord and personal Savior. You know, repent from any wrongdoings and give your life to him. And all is settled in Christ. All right, so thank you. He's waiting for you today. See you in our next video.